Last month, we showed you how to configure Clavister's VPN client OneConnect, and today we're going to dive a bit deeper into how it works. Join me as I walk down memory lane to the origins of OneConnect and dive into the choices and constraints that made OneConnect what it is today. Here with me today to talk about OneConnect and how it was born is Andreas Nordin, who was product owner of OneConnect at the time, and Tommy Yastrom, who has been a software developer on OneConnect from the very beginning. So Andreas, how was OneConnect born? So as a company, we wanted to grow into the client side. Uh, we, uh, we saw that we had like a blank spot in our product portfolio uh, at the time. And um, yeah, I was appointed product owner and uh, to accomplish that. How do you do that? Make a product grow? Well, it's a combination of um, both knowing where you are and where you want to go and, uh, you know, the options that you have to get there. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about uh, the starting point. Where were we? Mm. Well, we had at the time we had a Windows client that we had developed in house. And um, uh, so that was obviously a good starting point to collect their feedback and uh, yeah, see what their pain points were. What was their feedback? Any specific pain points? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, lack of performance by far. So where did you want to go with the, with the product? Well, we, we wanted it to grow. So obviously we wanted to go into more platforms and uh, the Apple ecosystem being the more, most, most obvious ones. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we also want, but we also wanted to address the, this very strong feedback that we got from our current users that performance was, was lacking. And uh, yeah, on top of that, we, we wanted to build like a modern, uh, modern experience for our users because we so to bring the whole portfolio to them in a, in a modern way. So what options did you have to get there? After bringing it all together, it became quite clear the lack of performance, the lack of portability of what we had and uh, the lack of extensibility uh, we it was quite clear that we had to replace the, the protocol that the client communicated with the gateways and as i remember it because i'm going to introduce myself now i was also a software developer uh, back in the days of uh, the beginning of one connect and the way i remember thing is that there were only a few options available to us. The reason why we didn't have many, many options to choose from was uh, what we like to call the hotel room use case. Oh yeah, it's uh, where we have this uh, customer working from the hotel and uh, this hotel only allows uh, web uh, browsing on HTTP and HTTPS. And then the VPN needs to connect uh, with these protocols, otherwise the firewall would, would block them, basically. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly. yeah. so that left us with uh, not so many options. We had WireGuard. It was a brand new protocol at the time. Um, there was a lot of hype around it, but unfortunately it had some header or something that could be identified by a firewall. So hotel in the use case, nope. Um, we had... Um, open VPN that we had worked with before. Unfortunately, also a similar kind of problem that the hotel room case didn't work. Then there was the option to do it all ourselves, actually. Um, it was uh, only like three of us developers back then. It would have been a lot of work, but maybe we could do that. We would have full control over what we wanted to do, but then it was a lot of effort. And it was also the problem that we didn't have anything to test against. And then we had Open Connect, another protocol, which, uh, which showed good performance, um, had plenty of open source tools to test against on both sides. And that could also um, match this uh, hotel room use case. Uh, can you explain uh, how Open Connect works, Tommy? Okay, so uh, uh, Open Connect has this uh, control channel over TCP that uh, initiates the, the communication and uh, data can also be transmitted using uh, TCP. And uh, after this, if it's enabled, then uh, a UDP data channel is connected and that's what makes it the speed so, so good. Maybe I can show you the performance numbers. What I want to show with this picture is, is that on Wi-Fi, then your communication is, is fairly good. Uh, and uh, uh, in that case, the, the TCP only mode will work quite good. 
but UDP, if this hotel room uh, allow it, then you will have a lot better, like twice the speed. Uh, on the other hand, if you're using 5G or 4G on your mobile phone, then uh, the TCP only mode will be really, really bad. The reason why it's bad performance is that uh, when you have a, a flaky communication line, TCP is trying to, to resend stuff. And if you have like a TCP over TCP, then it will kind of just resend stuff and break down the communication. On the other hand, when you are using your phone, you can use UDP and, and the speed would be great. What a journey this has been, but we are so proud to offer OneConnect in the various app stores. Check the links in the description to download OneConnect for your platform now. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Thank you for watching and stay safe.